Hey, I'm at Brass Armadillo and um, I'm in Des Moines for a doctor's appointment, but who cares about that? Because when I come to Des Moines, I get to go shopping. And so stopping at Brass Armadillo and I just noticed one of the girls in my group. She has a booth here, which I already knew that, but I am in her booth. And so super excited to kind of show you some of the things that she's learned in the group and actually implemented. So one of the first things I'm seeing as I look at her booth is her booth looks different than everybody else's. She's added these burlap curtains. She's got the pergola going, the brick, the music sheets. It's definitely an atmosphere. Um, and so she's setting her booth apart. Very important skill. Another very important skill that she is utilizing is she is marketing for herself. So one of the things that you don't want to forget about doing is to let people know about your shop so they can follow you on social media. If you set up at shows, if you sell on a website, you definitely want to make sure that you are utilizing um, your space and advertising for yourself as well. She's got a lot of great things. She's using layering. Um, height. She is even using electricity to get some light in the back of her booth. So a lot of great things going on here and um, I'm so proud of her. Another thing that she's doing which is really good is adding in, in some texture with very important. Um, just kind of makes it seem a little bit more homey. Now, are there more than 10 tips on having a cute booth at an antique mall? Most definitely. And those are the types of things that we cover in my staging your antique shop group. So if you're an antique dealer, whether you sell at flea markets, you sell at a mall, you have your own shop, you are just getting started, you just sell through social media, um, you should join the group and we will help you grow your business.